Hello, my name is Michael Frank, the City Manager of the City of Novato. I want to thank you for taking time today to help us prioritize city services as we try to navigate the largest financial crisis that this nation has faced since the Great Depression. You have probably heard that the city is facing a $5 million deficit or structural problem. That's the difference between our revenues and our expenditures on an ongoing basis. The city council and staff cannot make these decisions alone, and we need your input. For a number of years, the city council made reductions with the least impact to Novato residents. At this point, there are no easy answers. The decisions and trade-offs that face us as a community and that the City Council faces are difficult. The information gathered today will help assist the City Council with their deliberations. Before we jump into the exercises and discussions you'll be having today, we thought it was important that we cover some budget basics. So I'll be talking about a couple of key budget concepts, but I'm going to try not to bore you with the details of government accounting. There are different pots of money, we call them funds, for different purposes in city government. And one of the key concepts is that not all these pots of money, or not all of these funds, can be used uh, for anything. So a lot of times, money is set aside often by law, and can only be used for a certain purpose. This concept leads to a lot of confusion among residents and, and people in the community. So for instance, we're renovating 901 Sherman, the old city hall in downtown. People look at that and go, well, why are you renovating that building when you don't have money to maintain the streets or to provide some of the other services that we provide? And the answer is that money set aside for certain capital projects cannot be used for operating like maintenance or police services. The general fund, and now I'm going to move on to the most important fund in the city or pot of money is we call the general fund. The general fund is the key discretionary fund of the city and I'm going to talk about what it is, where it gets its money, and where it spends its money. So I have here a pie chart that represents the general fund and other funds of the city. So the entire pie chart is the budget of the city of Novato. And you see in orange, the general fund, about $30 million, makes up half of the city's budget. The next largest piece says CIP at 28 percent. CIP are, is the Capital Improvement Plan, and those are all capital funds. And then there are other uh, funds of the city, including redevelopment funds. Aside from the general fund, those other funds have specific uses and can't be used for whatever we want them uh, used for. The next pie chart shows where the city gets its money. What you see on this chart, the largest slice in orange, is property tax. Property tax is based on assessed valuation. So people that own homes or commercial properties have an assessed value and a certain percentage of that is taxed. And that's what goes to property tax. Now it is important to realize, however, that for every one dollar you pay in property tax, not all of it goes to the city. In fact, only eight pennies out of the one dollar go to the city of Novato. The rest go to schools or counties or the state, most of it goes to the state government. The next largest piece is sales tax at 19 percent. Sales tax we receive through retail and commercial areas of our city. Those happen to also be the areas we've been hit the hardest during this deep recession. The other revenues on this slide, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, but there are various other smaller taxes and fees which we collect that help support our services. Now, where do we spend our money? The next slide shows the contribution that the general fund makes to each of the following services. 
The largest in blue there is police, which makes up 46 percent of the total general fund dollars that get contributed. The next largest is public works, and in public works, that's about 25 percent, we pay for street maintenance, maintenance of our city facilities, and maintenance of our city parks. And then the other main area where we provide services is in the parks, recreation, and community services piece of that pie. And that's primarily recreation programs, so our senior center and programs for our seniors and youth programs and athletic field programs that we provide to the community. The other two slices, administration and citywide programs, cover many things that are the overhead and infrastructure for all of the services provided. So there are things in there like telephone service and citywide overhead and animal services, which we contract out for, that we're required by law to pay for. So all of those are captured in those two other pie charts. So that's what the general fund is, where we get our money, and where we spend our money with regard to the general fund. We've talked about what the problem is, but how did we get here? Many of us have heard about the following economic issues in the news, a housing crisis, credit crisis, recession, low consumer confidence, and a decline in Novato median home prices. All of these factors combined have hit just where the city's general fund gets its revenue, property tax and sales tax. If you want to look for a simple answer, the answer is that our general fund revenues have been declining and not keeping up with the cost of our expenditures and the costs of the services we provide to the community. So what's the solution? As we discussed earlier, a budget problem arises when our ongoing revenues are not enough to cover our ongoing expenses. So you can try to increase the revenue side or decrease the expenditure side. Of course, that sounds a lot easier than it is. We have committed as a city staff and as council to leave no stone unturned. We want to look at every area of our functions and every service and make sure there are no sacred cows and that we're looking at how to provide services at the least cost and in the most effective fashion. So there are a number of ways we're going to go about this. We will look at economic development and how we can attract new businesses to our community. We will look for efficient efficiencies and different ways of doing business in a less expensive fashion. We are looking at restructuring. We're looking at how we do business and whether things should be brought in-house or contracted out. We will be looking at employee salaries, their benefits and their pensions to look at what is fair and reasonable in the environment that, we're presently find, that we pr presently find ourselves. We will also be looking at new and reevaluated revenues. And lastly, we will be looking at service reductions. In conclusion, I want to thank you again for your time participating in this process. We recognize that these meetings are not a scientific survey, but nevertheless, they give myself, they give city staff, and they give the city council input and information about the priorities and what the issues are in our community. We will be letting you know when we go to the City Council about these sessions and what the city, city Manager's recommendations are. And in addition, we will also be capturing questions that you have and we'll be emailing back responses to those questions. So thank you again. We appreciate the time.